Okay, so for this problem, they give you this triangle here, this triangle ABC, and they give you the uh, two angle measures. For one measure, angle A is 32, and angle B is 25 degrees, and then they give you the side A equals 18. And you can notice, look, the sides are across from the angles, right? So C and C. Anyway, so what we're going to use is the uh, law of sines which is right here, which says the side over the sine of the corresponding angle. Those are all going to be equal for the respective sides and angles. So it works like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, A and C, but we need angle C in order to do that, right? C is what we're trying to find. So we know that for a triangle, it's going to be 180 degrees, the sum of the angle measures, right? And so we have uh, angle A is 32, and B is 25. And we're trying to find angle C, and that's going to equal 180. Let me just sort of work it out. And you get angle C is uh, 123 degrees. So now we can use the law of sines. So we're going to put uh, A, which is 18. Oh, we can put this in our graph here. 123. And so we, we know A is 18. And then we're going to take the sine of A, which is 32. Don't forget to put your calculator in degree mode because it won't work if it's in radians. And, okay, so C, that's what we're trying to find, and the sine of angle C. Like that. And then, so like if you can multiply by sine 123, and then sine of 32 and that's going to equal c so you put that all in your calculator and you're going to get c is 28.487 and they ask you to the nearest tenth right so angle c is going to be 28 point five degrees. So that's the answer to that problem. And I just want to check my screen share. I've been having trouble with this. Let's see. Uh, 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 screen share. Screen recording. Mm. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. But anyway, thank you so much. Bye.